Okay, has it upon her? That's it. This is one of those fused preposition with pronoun in this case. Rich. Rich is that just the, the bare stem. Richen to run. Taught worthy. So she has to run. Let's hold on to Urshi. Let's hear it again. Taught Arhi. <clears throat> upon her. So it's fusion with the third singular feminine pronoun. I will see the other forms too. Ta er snov. is me. He. Snarf swim. So quite different looking. Are he for the feminine? It. And let's hear this again. Ta er snarf. Upon him. So the literal meaning in these cases is it is upon him to swim. Something like that it means he must swim. The ta, that verb, copula, I think has temporary meaning. So it's like estar in Spanish. Ta bronaru. There's another word. It's temporary copula. Uh, sorry, permanent meaning. One. Ta bron orfu. Like the unchanged. Bron sorrow upon them. Orfu. Well, him is third singular masculine. Orfu. R-T-H-U. T-H is always sounded as a H, huh, an H-like sound. Fricative. Upon them. What's an echo for egg? What's it for on them? I forget. But anyway, 3P, third person plural. Okay. He is sorry. There is sorrow upon him. Upon them. They are sorry. Let's get it. Sorry, sorrow is upon them. Sprone. Ta er snov. Long a sound. This is the temporary b. Edge upon him. Snov sounds like a long a. Ah. M h for v sound. He must. Ta out of shul. It's the root meaning walk. Out of is second person plural. On you all. So I'm gonna. I'll have my own little style of writing this. A double U means you plural. Y'all. Two P. Second person plural number. Perhaps two. You must walk. Is the meaning here? So note that it's not that inflected form shulen. Lose that ending. It's just that bare root shul in this construction. Ta art eischacht leo. Ta art eischacht. So the mean, literal meaning, it is upon you to listen to me. Listen with me. You must listen to me. That's my best guess here. Ta, temporary B. Art upon you. This is one of those fusions. Art. T is common for all of these for the second person. Upon you, singular. Single U letter for that. 2S. Second person singular. Ta bron orange. It's the we, the us form. O R A I N N. The I signals that it's a slender ny sound at the end. Upon us. First plural. 
And autumn, I think, is the one for upon me. O R M square bracket that until we see it. So top row autumn you means we are sorry. There is sadness upon us. Ta all has autumn. Joy, ah has joy. Here I'm going to use a slash to stand for the accent mark. Ah has joy. Ta ah has autumn. So one, and there's the autumn that we see now. First person singular. So when we collect all the possible forms like this and have them arrayed in some kind of logical order, we call that a paradigm. Fusion forms of the upon forms of upon plus pronoun. Pronoun is a little word, stands for stands in for full noun phrases, I, you, he, she, it, and plural ones. Upon pronoun. So I want to be able to find that later, so I'm giving that a heading. Notepad. ta ah autumn So that means there is joy upon me. I am happy. We are happy. Literally, it'll be there is joy upon us. ta ah is the one, number two. ta ah is They must. Listen, word for word it is, there is upon them, listen to, listening, yeah, so, the bear verb there, bearest. You are sorry means there is sadness, ta brown. upon you, I'll just use art singular, or I'm going to use of. she is sorry, ta brown. Looking, yeah, sound was an off, but it was spelled U I R T H I. Yeah, or he, or he, or he. Okay, hope we'll see it soon. Okay, so welcome back to Language Institute. I'm your verb ally. We're doing some Irish today, this evening. Prepositions is our topic. Smalif or madri. Prepositions are words like to, with, from, without. It's a very important class in any language. It has a Smalif or madri. Our. This is a possessive. Our. Smalif. You like. Yeah. It means literally it is good with you. So let's collect some with ones too. With plus pronoun. We've got L I B H live with U plural two P R Madri. And that's the really the subject of this one. Here at the end, our dogs are permanently good with you means you like our dogs. In English we put the experiencer of the liking as a subject, but most languages have the other way around, really. Rihimlo gach madin. So, let's fuse one with them. Yeah. L-E-O. The E is just shared there in the spelling to indicate the quality of the consonant. Slender. With them. It's 3P. Swahili Leo, same spelling means today. Gahmajin, every morning. Rishim, I run. Verb comes first in a statement sentence like this. I run, Rishim, Leo, with them. Gahmajin, every morning. So, what gender is Majin? I think it's a feminine one. What case will it be? Is this a dative? I don't need to save it, I need to check it. Is Malin quit? 
Ah, kasi Smiley, Madri. Smalin, L-I-N-N. Slender word with us. Compare for the second part this Oranya. So I-N-N in the spelling in both cases. That's the part that means us. And the with part is the L at the beginning and a vowel probably. Le, I think, is the absolute form. Let's make a note of that. L E. Uh, here, I think it's R. A R is the basic form. Thing is one P. Is Marin Kutch? I guess it's Marin Madri. So two full sentences. First one. It is good with you. Cats. They are good with you. You, uh, we rather. Linya with us. We like cats. Agus and Ismailiv Madri. With you is good. Dogs. You like dogs. Smalena kat banya. Okay, it's possessive. Na with her. Lena. So let's add that to the third singular group. Sub thing. Lena with her. Let me add the noun here too. It's significant that it's not a chat, but cut, an unmutated consonant. With her, so it's got to be. Well, it doesn't tell us anything about the gender of cut, banya. So this is a three s third singular, and it's possessive. Smiley in a cut spanya, her cat, we put as a subject, likes milk. Achawan and Fian. So this two part, Achawan, we translate as accept. The Ach means but, and Awan is, I think, a form of the number one, but alone, only, yeah. And Fian, the wine. One and fian. Except the one is perfect. Ismail Rish, pasta. With him, with her. Lay. So here's a third person one, the basic feminine. L E I L E. With her. That's three S F. Liam, Smiley Marish, so again two complete sentences. I like rice. It is good with me. Agassi Smiley pasta and she likes pasta. I run with them every morning. It's Rishim. With them is that Lo Gach Majin. Rishim Lo Gach Majin, number three. Tum, that looks fun. Don't know, don't recognize that yet. Dausa could be a verb of dancing. Levi will know. Chan to linya. Chan, this is go. You go with us. Don't think it's a command, but a declarative sentence. Chan to lin. Lin. Let's look up chan. Bet you it's a fused prefix or two uh, in terms of its etymology. Irish. It's the old spelling. Okay. Che. Che. Tate in Old Irish, which was put together. Oh, no. It looks like a, just a bare verb. Tegeti, stegeti. So German Steigen would be related then, if I'm not mistaken. Future stem. Okay. Yeah, I hope we get to see other tenses here in Duolingo of Irish. Cool. It's basically a root verb with a, what we call a thematic vowel, Steigheti. So the stem always ended in a vowel sound. Chen Chu Lin Yu. Oh, we already did that. Moving on, except for the shoes, it'd be a Hawan and a Broga. 
Tanyan on scale. I need Tanyan and joy. Tanyan. To enjoy the story with them. Yes, Tanyan. Tachin. Present and verb means to shine. Okay. And shkeo, the story, shines with them. Oh, it's literal me. Tanyan. Let me get the, the lowercase. It's the inflected form here. And basic entry T A I T I N shine and then metaphorically enjoy. When we say literally in Irish Tanya and Schele, the story shines with them. It means they enjoy it. They enjoy the story. And note scale, the fact that it's a letter E there is gonna slenderize, we say those. Uh, first two con these consonants that come before it. It's, instead of a sk, it's a shkia here. It affects both those sounds. You enjoy the Every consonant occurs in those two shades, those two flavors. The man walks with his dog. We're going to put the verb first. Shulan. Shulan. That's the inflected form for this present tense. And then comes the subject, unfair, the man, with his dog. It's going to be Lena also with his. Mm -hmm. yes. Lena. And then it would, uh, the difference between his and her, I think, is going to be in the, be reflected in the noun itself. Uh, madra. Lena Wadra, I'm going to guess. It feels so good. Let me hold on to that. So this is something. Non nominative case, an oblique with his dog. Shulam and Fair Lena Wadra. Okay, let me. So I like these curly braces here to mark a prepositional phrase or adpositional. Some type of positional phrase versus a simple pair of square brackets for noun phrases. Just to sort of give things a nice texture. <laughs> Got a verb first. The man walks with his dog. Did in the first part, that's pretty simple, but the with his dog part is. So I would guess a dative case. And matra? Well, it depends if it's a masculine noun or a feminine one. Anyway, at this stage, it's just good to memorize them as chunks. So these phrases here, meaning with his dog. In order to get the rule, when do you have a plain M? When do you have a, a Mutated one like here, a wa, a wa. There's complex rules behind it, so at this stage, just memorize them as two or three part phrases, and the pattern will emerge in time. I like Reese, not Reese, I like rice, and she likes pasta. So, two complete sentences is ma, it is good with me, it's ma lim, it's good with me, and then the subject, reesh, sounds long. Agus is ma, and now with her is the meaning. With is ma ma lesh is. I have it here with. Lay, it's ma lay pasta. Should be long. A. Oh, so that's gonna be confusing. I'm using the slashes for that. I won't use them here for the words. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right, still well behind Rico again. Got some catching up to do. Twenty minutes in. Cut a ta aga. Cut 
at all. This is a question word. I think what? Uh huh. And then in a question sentence, we're going to get this a prefix showing up on the verb. Again. With, at us. Yeah. So let's start a new list here. At. Plus pronoun. The basic form, ug. And then we've got a g a i double n means at us. First person plural. 1p. Uh, for memory, agam at, uh, at me. 1s. Agat, a g a t. At you. 2s. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I really enjoy these forms. A i g e ege means at him. Eki. A I C I Eke at her three S F excuse me three S M masculine and there's others we'll get to so cut a top I get you what do we have and the word order is what is there upon uh, at us Tagansiaku Gansi Ah, cool. There's one at them. A C U. Three P. They have sweater. Ta poshtiaku. Poshtiaku. They have children. Ta long a. Poshti also. I think the suffix is two. Aku. A C U. Let me get the chat open. Drop me if you've got any questions. Drop me a chat if you've got any questions or comments. Welcome to the chat room. Okay, Mary says that. Hello, everyone. Good Irish. Ishimit Capri. We eat sandwiches. Gun hosh. So it's a nice. Preposition, it's not fused, I think, but causing mutation. Ha ish, long a, ha ish, with ch without g is the meaning. Cheese. That one is called lenition, I believe. Kosh is the basic form with just a c, a stop sound, and ha ish, shifted to a fricative, ch. Okay, we eat sandwiches without cheese. Totten Jr. Hart. Totten Jr. Hart. Over, yeah. Subject, the dinner. Ta temporarily is heart over. I guess an adjective. What is over? Over is not an adjective. Unwill yawr agiv? Unwill, it's not used as a preposition there either, by the way. Unwill yawr agiv? Unwill is the question form for the copula, ta. And so we're asking a yes-no question is, literally it's, is there a book at you? Do you, well, do y'all have a book? She eats a meal without tea. Meal. Ba, uh, baile, baile. Yeah, there is. She eats a meal. Ich and she baile, gan te. Ich and she. So, I like these distractors. You're never gonna. I don't think. These G C B P spellings. Those are voicing mutations. I think that's gonna be just sentence initial. It's only gonna happen in certain phrases. To us, there is at us. There is no water. We don't. There is no sugar at us. We don't. 
Ta poshti aku. Poshti aku. They have children. Children are at them. Do you have a book? So the question form again, on with, B-H-F-U-I-L, there's a W for those three letters. A book, we just write Liaur, L-E-A-B-H-A-R. On will Liaur, to do you, Agat. Liaur, Agat. What? Ah, yeah. Good question. So let me explain that a bit. One P and so on. The number in each case stands for... Uh, we'll call the person in grammar. First person means it includes, it's a group, could be a group of one, but it includes the speaker. Speaker maybe plus others. So if I just am referring to myself, I'll say I, me, myself. If I can include others in a group with myself. I say we, us, ourselves, and so on. Speaker. So uh, first person means I, we. And the difference there we call singular for one person, plural, for more than one. Second person means what we call the addressee, the person spoken to. So, you, an English you, can be singular, if you're talking to one person, or it can be plural, use the same word in most places. Some regions, like da I'm in Dallas, here in the south, and in Texas, we like to use y'all to sort of fill that gap or make it unambiguous. Y'all mean comes from you all, clearly plural. And then third person is anything else. He, she, it. So not spoke, not the speaker, not the person spoken to, other. Spoken about, we could say. Spoken of. So S slash A-G, she, he, and also it. And then in the plural, they. A little confusing, but that's what I mean. That's so the end of S and the P, singular plural. That's what's going on there. Thank you for asking. P stands for person. Oh, sorry, plural. That's not right. S singular, meaning only one in number. Okay, breakfast is over. We'll put the verb first, ta, then the subject, on brick fasta. Brick fasta. And then for over, heart. H T H A R T. So, just to, make, to answer the question simply, 1P equals we, us, our those meanings. Our, ourselves. So, first person, plural. That's what the parts mean. One P. Okay. Whew. Quite a workout, this prepositions unit. A lot of data. So, to Let's see, let's just do a little refresher, switch to another language for a round two. Xia. ZH Zhongwen Chinese. Xia is downward at the bottom. Wu. For the mid part of the day. Wu. Wan. Evening or late? Fun. Fun. To divide or a minute? Xia. Xia. Xia wu. Xia wu. Night. Ye xia. Wan shang. Wan shang. Shang. Atop the evening. Fun. Fun. Xian zai shi wan shang shi yi dian ling liu fun. Xian zai shi wan shang shi yi dian ling liu fun. So it means it is 11, 06, 06, now, 现在, oh, p.m. <laughs> yeah, indeed, it's not it. 你们上午几点喝茶? 你们上午几点喝茶? 
what what time will you do you shang wu do you drink tea shang wu in the morning what time in the morning do you drink tea one one nice distractors with the sun as one of the components one of the moon two of the moon Dian Wan Wan Fun Fun Wu Xia Shang Wu Ba Dian Sushi Wu Fun Shang Wu Ba Dian Sushi Wu Fun So it's eight forty five AM Sushi Spell S I, but the I is not the E that we might expect. Sort of fuses with that S into a Z sound. Si fen fen. Xia xia wan wu. You men xia wu ji dian he ka fei. You men xia wu ji dian he ka fei. What time in the afternoon do you drink coffee? 他上午在医院。他上午在医院。他 OPD。So this is a graphic input method that's commonly used, widespread. 仓颉。So you search for that and input, you'll find it. And so I'm getting, I'm retrieving the characters one by one based on how they're written. So you have to, of course, know. If there's also phonetic input systems, you could just go based on the sound. If you know the spelling of the word, look them up that way. But I find this one more elegant and more fun. He 上午在医院 Shan is next. Y M Wu is going to be predicted there. One, Zai. So first that crossing on top K, and then the descender L, then the G figure within Zai 医院 I'm just going to go for the simplified form of E, which is S O K. Yun N L J M U. Shang Wu Zai Yi Yun. He's at the hospital in the morning. Is what it means. He or she, same sound. 今天晚上他们在哪儿？今天晚上他们在哪儿 ？Where are they this? 晚上 ，Z mean. Where are they tonight? So I don't need to get characters. Where? Okay. Where are you in the afternoon? Ni O P O N F rather. In the afternoon. Uh, 下午 to M Y. 下午 is predicted. 在哪儿？在 again K L G. Okay, 哪 is the question one. It's got the mouth first. R S Q L. R is predicted, and so we're gonna simplify. 你下午在哪儿？你 I think that's everything. We might say 今天下午 but it's not really in the question in the English. It is eleven o six in the evening now. Xian Zai. Xian M G B U U, Zai right there. Eleven o six. Ah, 十一点十 J M for one. D N W F Y. 一点零六，零 is M B O I I 六 Y C。Oh, I need to put the evening, of course, before that. That's what I'm missing. 晚上 So that's an A N. 晚 And then an A shape again, and ending on a U. There it is. Shang Y M. Now, 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 晚上十一点零六 
seemed a bit odd that you would say it that way, because the person wouldn't know it was evening unless you were in a windowless prison, I suppose. Oh, maybe we should simplify that. We definitely should. It's not going to like that ling either. So let me grab an alternate. This is the full form for the word zero, ling. It's an actual Chinese character, but in the simplified system, they often use this, this circle shaped one. So grabbing it from there, pasting it. Lu Fan Xian Zai Shi. It wants a verb. Wai Shang Shi Yi Ling Liu. And we need a unit, of course, which I forgot. That fun for the minute. It's 11 06 in the evening now. <laughs> to start. Xian Zai Shi. M G B U U. Zai. Predicted. Shi A M Y O. Wai Shang. Wan A N A U. Shang Shi Yi J M D N is predicted. Ling Liu Fen. I'm going to skip the Ling. Liu Y C C S H for the minute. And we just need to put the Ling in the right place. Ling Liu Fen. Xian Zai Shi Wan Shang Shi Yi Dian Ling Liu Fen. Oh, I didn't simplify. Curses. Alright, I've grabbed it twice now. Now it's evening. It's simplified. Ling Liu Fen. Zero six minutes. Let's grab a ling in a second here. <laughs> M B O I. There we go. Suspenseful. But we got there ultimately. And let's do another and then go back to Irish. May. Every. More. More again. Four. More. Zhou. Zhou. Week. 我们的孩子每个晚上喝牛奶. 我们的孩子每个晚上喝牛奶. Our children. Drink milk. Every evening. Every night. 美，我的哥哥这个周末在医院。我的哥哥这个周末在医院。My big brother will be in the hospital. I guess we could say is, but will be in the hospital this weekend. Sound more futurey? Yeah. 我每天都喝咖啡。每天都喝咖啡. I drink coffee every day. So the dough is a little hard to translate here. I drink. Sounds much better in Chinese with it when you're talking about a whole group of someone or something. Zhou. Zhou. The students. See. The teacher. The Chinese teacher. At noon. More. More. Zhou. Zhou. Mei. Fen. Wan. I make a Zhou more. I make a Zhou more. I love every weekend. There, every weekend seems like the object rather than specifying the time. Because I is a strongly transitive verb. Needs an object. May. Where's my May? There. May. Wan. Wan. Zhou. Mo. Xia. Wo mei ge zhou mo jian ying yu lao shi. Wo mei ge zhou mo jian ying yu lao shi. I see the English teacher. Every zhou. 
uh, make a j o m o every weekend. 我每天都喝咖啡。每天都喝咖啡。我 H Q I 每 O W Y Yeah, we could add the I, but it's already there. 我每天都喝咖啡。Coffee every day. Tin M K. Do J A N L. H is okay. R A P and then ending on a V. H Cafe is R K S R. It's going to predict the fe that ka doesn't occur with anything else. And let's check it again. 我每天都喝咖啡。We just gotta. Well, it might be subtle, but I think it made a difference. The do it was doing an especially refined traditional form for it there. His mother always drinks coffee. His mother always drinks coffee. Her mother drinks tea. 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 What do they eat? 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 You are busy every day. Ni O N F May O W Y. May Tin is predicted. Busy every day. Do J A N L. Han H O A V. Mang P Y V. Yeah. Simplify. Well, there it doesn't make a difference. Students see the Chinese teacher at noon. So the word order here, we're going to put the at noon part between the subject and the verb. Students, 学生学 H. Now we can do it as okay. We're going to refresh. Let's do the simplified directly. 学生 F B N D. Is how that goes. All right. Need to refresh that window sometimes. No biggie. 学生 H Q M. See the C at ah.、Uh, so at noon, as I said, comes next. 中午 L O Q. Not 中年 now. 午 is O J. 中午 And the nice thing about this input is it recognizes not just single ones, but、uh, common compounds, phrases, collocations. Yes, I'm actually doing. All nearly all the ones that I can on Duolingo. So any requests? Been doing Chinese、uh, about fifteen years now, not on Duolingo. I lived in China. The rest of them, a lot, most of the rest of them, I'm learning now for the first time. So. That's why this one is pretty simple. It's pretty basic stuff at this point in the course. We're just starting out. Students see the Chinese teacher at noon. I think this is like year one Chinese stuff. It's a lot of fun. 中午见 B U U B U H U rather. Han Yu 老师 Let's write the the simplified E E. Yu. I'm gonna just put it in traditional. That's how I know it. Y R M M R. Hi, Yu, 老师 J K P, and she predicted. So that has a few、uh, traditional shapes, and that's all simplified now. Students, 学生 at noon, 中午 see the Chinese teacher. 见汉语老师 Don't know how idiomatic that is. It's a bit odd, just without context.
help it. We're going back to Irish, unless there's any effect. Oh, I think uh, I'm, I have nothing but praise for Duolingo. I found it really helpful in learning these. Let me, let's go uh, take a look at what's on offer. There's, so the ones I haven't started are like Klingon and Esperanto and that uh, Game of Thrones one. And then there's two that are taught only through Spanish, but I'm happy to do those too. So all of them I've started, say about half of them, I'm just kind of learning through Duolingo, and the rest I had some outer, some experience with beforehand. Very effective and fun. Is my answer there. For, let's say, a good two-thirds, the only way I've had of learning any of these has been through, uh, and of uh, those two-thirds of them has been through Duolingo. A lot of them I've spent time with in my outside life. Because <laughs> languages are kind of what I do. They're my thing. So Irish is next. Until I get a request, then I'm happy to do that. We are working through the prepositions unit. Ta andra agus aran wai. Andra is soup. Agus aran. And this is a prep yeah, preposition one. Why? From him. So a new preposition here. From. From who here? From him. So this looks new. U A I D H means from him. Three S for third singular, M for masculine. Here's my abbreviations. And the meaning word for word there is soup and bread. From him means he wants those things. He wants soup excuse me, and bread. Ta cafe wit. Wit is another one parallel to that. U A I T. Either from you or from her. Let's see. You, yeah, from you is the basic meaning. Uh, singular, so 2S. Wit from you. There is coffee from you means you want coffee. Nil is a single word meaning there is not. Lane to shirts. Wahoo is from them. U A T H U. T H in Irish always sounds as H. Huh. Where are you from? Oh, yeah, I'm. It is. Where am I? The chat's here. Dallas, Texas. Uh, usually stream. In my morning, about 10, well, it's rarely that early, in the 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. range. But of course, not always. Even, it's evening here. Uh, 11.30 a.m. to be precise. Okay. Moving on with Irish. Oh, so um, here's our YouTube channel. I'm uploading all of them to YouTube there, so they'll stay longer. But yeah, if you watch, or if I collect enough of them in one space, you'll see all the languages that Duolingo offers, with those couple of exceptions. We're trying to learn it all, <laughs> and show you that it can be done. So, part of the effect, my, this is my proof of the effectiveness of Duolingo, is how much I'm learning just through this one resource. Ni Lenchuahu means... Now, it means from them. There are not from them, so that's going to mean they don't want. Yeah, so from them. Wahoo. Third plural. In simple gra grammatical terms, that's to help me find it easily later. You can just input that grammatical string. Uh, string of letters. Niu, they don't want. Niu, don't wahoo. Want shirts. Ta cafe wit. Ta cafe wit. Ta cafe, I think. Oh, it's got a, the consonant quality has to be clearly marked. Fe wet. U-A-I-T means 
there is coffee from you, you want Ta Biachlar Wem. There's one from me, I think. U A I M. Single word that's a fusion. Two distinct words have just sort of molt together. Like like we see in English, don't. Doesn't. We they exist as two word phrases, but we have a fused form too as an option. In Irish it seems you can only well there's emphatic forms too, but they always fuse is my impression. One S first singular. Uh, there is a menu from me. I want a menu. On Dustin Yower why? Dustin, this one is needing. Yeah. Dustin. On Dustin Yower why? Dean Liauer Y. Y from him. U A I. We've got that already. Y. On Dustin Liauer Y. So, does he need a book? Talk call to Gorum Wahi. Wahi. Must be from her. U A I T H I. Coat a gorum, coat that is warm. She needs, she wants a warm coat. Wham, warm coat. Oh, gorum, I'm thinking of a Persian word that's similar to this. Gatum. Gorum means blue. Let's look up the origin of that to help it stick in my brain. G O R M. Blue coat. So, where does this word come from? This is a really great resource for that kind of question. Wiktionary. Sort of a side project, sister project of Wikipedia. Very thorough coverage of most of your major languages. Etymology. Gurmos from, okay, Dusky. Gurmos in Celtic. Dark blue. Lovely. Got him. On will chocolate on on gali on gali. This is a fused one. Owen. From the girl. So that's not a pronoun, but article. Owen. There's that a new column for that. Our ART article. O long and it's from the as a single word. So like we see in French and Italian too, and Spanish. These kinds of words fuse, and then the rest of them are with pronouns for this from one. So word for word, is there chocolate from a girl? Does I guess we'll say the. Does the girl want chocolate? Might be a chocolate. Oh, got it. And let's note the mutation here, too, of the word for girl. The basic form is Colleen, with just a C. And when you see those two letters stacked up, that's, I think, only the result of mutation. Ona Galin, G C G C A I L I long N from the girl. Oh, Dallas time is United States Central Time Zone. <laughs> I don't want to be rude and ask where you are, but yeah, feel feel free to tell me. Tasting breakfast the when. Right now, for me, it's 11.36 p.m. here now. Right here, right now. Tastine breakfast when. When from us. That which is not in my list yet. U-A-I-N-N. From us. 1 P. And Wehi from her. 3SF, third single feminine. Testine breakfast to win. We need. 
breakfast. What do we want? Okay, need want. Dastin Lacha Web. Lacha. <laughs> Web is going to be the you all form to plural. U A I B H. B H is a V from U U is my little symbol for it, but plural meaning Web. You want a duck. The boy needs water, so it's going to be water is going to be the subject. Ta wish ta ishke, and then own muachal. How nice. Let's add that there too. So instead of the basic buachal with just a b, after this fused form own, this one a b becoming an m is nasalizing. I think is the proper term. An M, we call it a nasal consonant, because when you produce an M, the air is coming out through your nose. Which you may not ever have thought about. But if it didn't, it wouldn't be an M. If it couldn't come out that way, so when you have a cold and you're stuffed up, there's no producing M's or N's. Nasal consonants. That's the, So, again, the basic form is just here, buachal, for the word boy. In this phrase, we sound it with just an M instead. And we write it with both letters. You want a duck. Dastin Lachawev. Dastin. So you'll notice there are a lot of silent letters. Chastin. This A after the T here is not really heard, but it indicates the quality of the T and of the S. Lachawev. Takota Goromwehi. And that's she wants, there is from her, she wants a blue coat. Garum. From Thailand. Cool. That's cool. I really like how Twitch and other sites let you connect all over the world. That's awesome. I wish they offered Thai, but they don't on Duolingo. Not yet. Maybe someday. Let me finish this one for sure. Maybe let's do a third language. Let's see what's next on the list. Snawan on bear hobbit. Verb first, swimming. And bear, I think, is the bear. Chogat means at you, toward you. New pronoun. From. Here at toward. Chogat toward you. And then I have to write TWD. Instead of the six letter word, and that's 2s. Like grammatical abbreviation. The bear, unbear. Then the verb swims toward you. <laughs> Not something you really want to hear. Shulin the poshti, hugun. Hugun is toward us. So us ones always end in I A N I uh, sorry I double N I N N C H U G A I N N Hogan Toward Us One P Shulin they walk the children walk toward us Shulim Hoike 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 C-H-U-I-C-I, toward her. Three S-F. Shulam is I walk uh, to her. Rehimut chogiv. Rehimut, we run. Chogiv is plural. Second person. C-H-U-G-A. 
IBH. Shiv is the basic form of that pronoun. Toward you plural to p. We run to you. On Dame Hoige. Jim. Question form. All right. Ata, but here is two words on Jim, and then mutating by voicing that Hoge with or at rather toward him. C H U I G E. Toward him. Do I go to him? Shulin the Kali ni bonds are go hooko. Go to them. See if you see you. Toward no. 3P. Right. Just to make those line up right. Shulin, they walk. Nakalini, the girls walk. And the girls are pink bonjaga. And that's a really nice compound made of white red. The pink girls walk to them. Rishinshi Hogum. Rishinshi Hogum. She runs to me. Shulin the Kali ni bonzar go hoko. Shulin the Kali ni bonjerga. Bon is a long there. A accent. Jerga. Hoko was it? Shulin the Kali ni bonzar go hoko. Chain on madra chig and gut. Chig and gut. Chain on madra chig and gut. The dog goes to the cat. I know the mutated form there. Chig. C H U I G. On gut. G C A T. Sounds like a G initially. Toward the cat. Dated likely. On Shulin and Portan Hogov. On Shulin and Portan Hogov. Got that one already. To you. Does the crab on Portan walk to you? I walk Shulin. Shulin. Silent I there. Shulin, that's it. I walked and then toward her to her. Do the yellow cats go to us? Uh, on JN. Oh, not ST, but DT. Mutated. Nachot. C H A I T. They're yellow, which is Bui. B U long I. To us, Hogan. Hogan. Ah, oh, we're gonna mutate. Anjian nakot vui. So I did some mutations, but not quite the right ones. Anjian d t e a n n nakot vui. Hogan. Huh. Yeah, that's it. It's the same thing. We try to do it just for memory. And cover that up. And Jayan. Nakach. Yeah. V. B H U long R. Hogan. French, French backwards. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Let, let me warm up by doing some French forward. Happy to be a guest. In fact, I think it's been quite a while since I did any French here. There we go. Mm 
Le passeport. La France. Le père. Le frère. Le frère. The brother. So the le shows that it's a masculine word. Le. There's just two genders where nouns are going to be either masculine or feminine. Ton chien. Ton chien. Your dog. Mon chat. Mon chat. My cat. Paul habite avec son père. Paul habite avec son père. Paul lives with his dad. His dad. Marc va bien. Marc va bien. Marc is well. Marie and her brother Marie et son frère. And that A is the falling mark on it. Marie et son frère. Is your cat doing well? How am I going to well? There's lots of ways to ask that kind of question in French. Let me see what they've got. Yeah. Ton, ton chat, chat va, va bien. bien. Your cat is doing well? Oh, all right. Didn't mean to do that. Ton chat va bien. Va-t-il bien ton chat? Yeah, all right, looks good. How are we doing in the points? 800 to go. The mother, la mère. La mère, la famille. La famille. Le restaurant. Le restaurant. La mère. La mère. La famille. La famille. La famille. Tu as une sœur? Tu as une sœur? Do you have a sister? Ma voiture. Ma voiture. My car. Salut, tu vas bien? Salut, tu vas bien? Hi, are you well? Marc habite avec sa mère. Marc habite avec, ah, Marc habite avec sa mère. We write habite. H, but there's no sound for that one. Marc lives with his mother. She lives with me. Your mother is French. Ta mère? Now, because it's uh, the, sur the subject, the subject is third person, we will put E. Ta mère est française. That's a feminine form of this adjective. Because mère is a feminine noun, we say the adjective agrees with it, adds it. Your sister lives in England. Ta soeur, O E U R, lives in England. Habite. En Angleterre. And it's similar to what you see in Irish in certain kinds of phrases, within certain kinds of phrases, sounds are linking over and becoming fusing into one word. En Angleterre. Makes it sound like the name of the country is Nangleterre, but it's Angleterre on its own. Gets a new onset. So I keep going with French. Do something else. Let me know. The wife, la femme, la, yeah, la, la femme. femme. Husband, le mari. Le mari. Ma fille est française. Yeah, my daughter. Est française, feminine form, is French. Mon fils habite en France. Mon fils habite en France. My son lives in France. Le mari de Julia. Le mari de Julia. Julia. Oops, careful about that. Enter. Je vais bien. Je vais bien. I'm well. Femme. Femme. Fils. Fils. Le mari de Julia. Worth noting that the L there is silent. Fils. Le mari de Julia. Julia. Apostrophe S. Wrap this one up for sure. Till more instructions come in. The grandmother. La grand-mère. La grand-mère. Worth pointing out here that this grand does not... Does it ever? Grande. Yeah. Normally it would have a feminine form agreeing with it, but not in this compound. 
Le grand-père. J'ai un grand-père. J'ai un grand-père. I have grandfather. J'ai un animal de compagnie. J'ai un animal de compagnie. I have a pet. Mon fils veut un chien. Fils veut un chien. My son wants a dog. Mon, ma grand-mère veut un animal de compagnie. My grandmother wants a pet. Ma grand-mère veut un compagnie. Okay. Ma grand-mère veut un fils. Does she want a son? J'ai un chat. Elle veut mon chat. Does she want my cat? Ah, we're choosing a reply. That's a new exercise type. I'm seeing it for the first time. I have an owl. J'ai... I don't know the word for owl offhand. Uh, this chouette looks like it's got to be feminine. Une chouette. So, sometimes the form of the noun itself will reflect what gender, but it usually doesn't. It's arbitrary seeming. Une chouette. Marie. Ah. Is have. Just a single sound. Une chouette. FR for French. Looks like no request yet. Let me wrap this unit up. La maison. La maison. Le jardin. La le jardin. Je suis dans le jardin. Je suis dans le jardin. Le chat d'Alice. Le chat d'Alice. Alice's cat. L'appartement. Appartement. The apartment. Oh. 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 The year. In the apartment. Dans l'appartement. L'appartement. The dog is in the house. Le chien est dans la maison. I'm turn to Irish. This a pole and Tishach. Paul. Is the Irish Prime Minister? This a so a real cool type of sentence. What's going on with this a pronoun? There seems unnecessary. Doesn't it? We don't say he is Paul the the Prime Minister. We're satisfied with just having the. Name there, serve as the noun. Paul is the Tishach. We use that word in English too, if you're writing about Ireland. Aidia, Ireland. Wachteran the Hayden. Wachteran the Hayden. Wachteran, that's the president of Ireland. So, ending here, it's it's not a plural na, it's just a case form other than the subject case. Tame imachoni imala clea. Tame imachoni imala a clea. I live, I am in my living, I'm in my dwelling, in Dublin. Three word name. A yeah. On Tishach. On Tishach, the Irish Prime Minister. Dublin. Bala a clear. Unmutated. Tatu i the honey a mala clear. Same mutated form. E mala a clear. 
You live in Dublin. Ta tu i da hauni i mara clear. Ko will balo clear. Will. Ko will balo clear. Oh, it must be where is Dublin? Bale a clear. I forget if it was like this. Clear. Th so close. Bala ah, oh, just the one long marked vowel there. Ichim orashje imala clear. Ichim orashje imala clear. I ate an orange in Dublin. Car will untishach. Car will untishach. Where is the Irish prime minister? Untishach agus uachtran na heiren. Tishach agus uachtara na heiren. The Irish Prime Minister agus and uachtara na heiren. The President of Ireland. Is a Paul uachtara na heiren? Is, the, is he Paul uachtara na heiren? The President of Ireland. Means Paul is the Pres of Ireland. Call will Balo clear. Where is Dublin? Call will Bala Aha clear. Kashlan. On Vlarna. Vlarna. Vlarni. Omanicht. So that makes me suspect that Vlarna is feminine now. Because there with the article, it mutates that way. Omanicht. Omanicht. Omanicht is curling. Hurling, rather. <laughs> Some kind of sport. to go to there. Find out what hurling means. I don't know. Omaniacht, an outdoor team game of ancient Gaelic Irish origin played by men. One of Ireland's native Gaelic games shares a number of features with Gaelic football, field, go field and goals, number of players, and much terminology. Similar game for women. Sport of Shinti. Oh, cool. Looks like fun. They are hurling. Tatu i dachoni i gorka. Tatu i dachoni i gorka. You live in Cork. Unchloch. The stone? Yeah. That's got to be feminine then, too, I think. Uh, the basic form would be cloch, with just the CL. Cloch, no blarnan. Blarney stone. Not just blarney stone. I think we use the in English. On common law class goyle. Is common, I'm interested in. Common, Alliance Pact, Commentum. Oh, so this really hit the comment. This is the Gaelic Athletic Athletic Association. Corka. Imrim omanicht. Imrim, I play. Yeah, I play hurling. The stone on Vlarna. On Chloch. 
On Kushlian. Kushlian, the castle. Is my, so the meaning is I like hurling. Is Malium. E O Ma Ni E O Ma Na E E O Ma there long. Na E is long. Is Malium O Ma Ni Kuman and Kuman Luchlas Luchlas Goyo Luchlas in the spelling Goyo Kuman Luchlas Goyo Okay, let's do one last thing. My brain is getting sleepy. Poblach na heiran. Poblach na heiran. The Republic. Tuaskert eiran. Tuaskert eiran. Tuaskert eiran. On Tainthus. Tainthus. Now we hear good. On Tainthus. It's the union? Yeah. So the T really belongs to the article. It's lost most of the time. So when it crops back up, it appears to be part of the noun. So similar thing happened in French. On Tainthus. On Tainthus with verb morphology. Here it's with nominal stuff. The union. Is Goyle Gourmet? Is Goyle Gourmet? I am an Irish speaker. Is Goyle Gourmet? Is Goyle Gourmet? Is Goyle Gourmet? Is Goyle Gourmet? And this is the permanent meaning B. Is. Cawil na party. I think it doesn't change. Cawil na party is box. Yeah, where are. The box. So here the word orders line up perfectly. Call in a party. Ere Agasantainthus Orpoch. Orpoch. Ere Agasantainthus Orpoch. Tainthus Orpoch. Ere Agasantainthus Orpoch. Ireland. Ere the EU. On Portoch. Portoch. Alright, we just saw it. What is it? On Portoch. The bar. I'm not real clear on what it is. I've been to the bar. Okay, Peter Bog Discoveries. Portach. Yeah, okay. Portach. It's probably a masculine noun. The Republic of Ireland, Poblach na Heiran. Poblach na Heiran, no Tuaskart Eiran. Poblach na Heiran, no Tuaskart Eiran. On Portoch. Portoch. Poplacht na heiren, agus tuaskert eiren. Poplacht na heiren, agus tuaskert eiren. So we see two forms of the same name, Ireland. Uh, with this article na, we get the H showing up on the noun, apparently. The Republic of Ireland. And, I guess. Northern 
The European Union and Tintus, Tintus, A O N T A S, uh, Orpach, E O R P A C H, Orpach. I am an Irish speaker. Is Kyogor, G E O I R, May. Let's check the spelling. G A E I L. Yeah, it's got to be. Because the, the the vowel letters on either side of that cluster got to agree. Okay, thanks for watching. Come and see us again.